Okay, this is my um, this is my work area. It's um, there's my little heat gun and um, my straight edges, uh, sponges, uh, my dust mask, tissues, my little timer. This is my, um, I keep all my paints. I mean, I'm just outside, you know, this is, this is uh, just an undercover area. Nothing special. I'm in the open air. Well, I've got a roof over my head. Um, yeah, sponges like that. Um, my little tins for, for paint, uh, stencils for various different, I've cut the, that's just a paint tin lid, and I've cut the back side out of that, uh, you can use that to do a, like a half moon or something like that, I've got another one here, and it's just a plastic container that I've shredded, and you can adapt that to different diameters and you spray down spray down the middle there one side or the other and that can give you you know different effects for different situations um, yeah I've got my straight edges little straight edges for um, for doing horizons there's my big straight edge there I, you know, I put that on a painting to to give me my horizons. Um, there's my little drawer. I've got all the bare essentials, scissors. I've got my little palette knife. Um, my little thing for signing. Uh, weights, little nuts and bolts and things. Various different bits and pieces. I've got nozzles here spare nozzles, brushes, um, you know, toothbrushes, all of these things can give you various different effects, stencil brushes, um, little caps, you know, they, these are great for, for little um, uh, planets or moons or whatever, um, a little eyedropper, now this is great, I use this a lot when I do my um, my moons, I do the craters, I put a little bit of turps in there and I just use the dropper to uh, put drops of, of turps onto the painting and it gives you that effect uh, as long as you don't go overboard. Um, you know, I've got little brushes, I've got my little sponge brushes. Um, I mean, it's surprising what you can, you know, what you will put together. Little bits of paper, uh, especially when you're using stencils and you need to cover the painting beyond the stencil. Um, you put your little bits of paper, put them under the stencil and then spray over it and then you don't get overspray onto your painting. Uh, so as I said, oh, there's all my all my paints. I've got my backups there. Uh, I've got various different stencils here that I've, they're just cardboard. And you just, you know, tear the ends off them to give you various different shapes. Um, this is my little box of, I get magazines and I chop the spine of the magazine out and that just gives me all the loose pages and I use them, I scrunch them up and use them to do my backgrounds and um, here's some more stencils. 
you know, the, these are these are just lids, or um, you know, these these are the the lids off the off the cooker. Pieces of you know the cardboard rolls. Um, this is a cap off the end of some tubing, you know, uh, plastic tubing. Uh, if you chamfer the edges and narrow that edge down uh, so that you've got a nice clean edge um, because the, if you reduce the surface area when you create your stencil if you have a look at this you can see that I've, I've chamfered the edge a little bit so that you don't have as much of the stencil in contact with the painting it reduces the risk of it sticking over here I've got all my I've got stencils right left and center box full of them there just different cutouts um, over here is my recycling center where I I recycle my turps um, I have a a jar of turps and every time I get uh, paint in the turps and it mixes up well, I pour the turps into here and this little tube has got a piece of rope in it a bit of um, uh, cotton um, rope on it and that's my um, recycled turps and I just put that back into my containers and I use that to wipe my nozzles uh, if I do other paintings um, I've got it there to um, clean brushes uh, this is my little jar all, it's all basically got dirty turps in it. I keep that for my uh, the nozzles, clean the nozzles, clean rags. I use that to clean my the nozzles. And there's some there's some old nozzles on here. You can just see them in there. And I'll use I'll clean them up. And if I do have to have a, a block nozzle or I can soon replace it um, but I've got lids at the back here uh, there's my fluoro colors but yeah this is my um, this is my little work area and You work wherever you can, but above all enjoy doing what you're doing.